Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so today I'm going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to first talk about my doctor's appointment, which I had yesterday, which was my last doctor's appointment. And then from after like going through and talking about all that, then I'm going to go into a couple of things. So one, I bought some stuff off of Amazon that I'm just going to show you guys. And it has to do like kind of like with um, the baby and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys everything I bought there. And then I have my hospital bag and the baby's hospital bag. And I guess I'm going to take everything out that I just packed up. I, just kidding. Now I've had it packed for a couple of I think like a month already and so I'm just gonna like take it out and kind of show everything that I have that I'm taking and then that'll be it okay so yesterday when I went to the doctor it was my last appointment that I have scheduled um, I am already 40 weeks so the baby was literally due today I'm recording this video it's 3.31 Saturday, uh, February 29th, and his due date was today on the February 29th, which was leap year. He unfortunately has not made any attempt to come. So I'm still really pregnant, but yeah. So I ended up getting, um, what do you call it? my cervix checked i think i forgot what it was that they did um so they checked it they let me know that um i'm literally not even like dilated i was like one centimeter dilated barely she said and so then we went on to we went over a plan um for me and how i would want to be like induced she asked me if I would like to stay two weeks after my uh, 40 weeks or if like it was fine if I was induced like within the next week. And I told her that I would prefer to be induced um, right away because <laughs> I am so tired guys. So basically I'm doing a 40 and O, so like um, the hospital that I will be delivering at is um, William Beaumont Medical Center or whatever. It's for the military kind of. Um, so what they what they told me their process for in, um, scheduling me to be induced is is that um, they won't give me like an exact day like oh you come in on March third. No, they're gonna give me like the week. And then like I should be expecting a call sometime that week so literally all of next week I will just be like on call just waiting for them to call me in to see when I can go the reason they do it like that is because they said that with labor and delivery like sometimes it's super empty and nobody's going into labor that day and then other times they have like three women in there all giving um, having their babies at the same time. So they don't wanna have me there or bring me in when they are super full and just have so much on their plate. So they said when they are more like um, slow and they don't have really anybody there, then they're gonna call me in and get me induced and just go through the whole process. <laughs> so I do think that I can probably record a video of, of my um, my labor um, I have been like pretty um, good I haven't been having to take my medicine as much and stuff I think I've kind of like relaxed a little bit the only thing that is really killing me is I'm getting severe like um, contractions like all day long which is weird because I'm not even dilated but she said yesterday that I would probably start to dilate little by little, a little bit on my own. But she said she didn't, she wasn't sure if I would dilate a lot or if 
I would have trouble. She's like, it's different for everybody. So basically, I'm just here waiting. Um, but yeah, if um, if though at any point like my water breaks or I feel like I am actually going into labor before they call me, then yeah, I'm not gonna have to get induced and then I just go like straight in and stuff and I'll still probably record that. It'll probably just be a little more like unprepared and stuff. But yeah guys, so that'll probably be my next video after this video. Okay guys, so here I have my Amazon box that I got in the mail yesterday. These were not, I just took them in there because Eric went and bought them for me uh, today. So I got a couple of things, so I'll show you guys what I got. If you guys watch um, Les Do Makeup, I did get, I think the majority of this is like stuff that I saw that she had gotten and I thought it was like super cute and yeah so I got most of the stuff because I saw her video of showing what she had for her baby and I was like true <laughs> just kidding so the first one are these little containers here I haven't even opened them So what they're for is like, I am going to attempt to um, breastfeed, but I am actually only going to do it for like a month or two. I'm not really going to do it his full, like the full time that you need to be breastfeeding. I'm just going to do it for a little bit, just, just to attempt and like make sure that I tried. But I do plan on going back to work like as soon as he's three months and stuff. So it's just not going to work out like. I don't want to be stressing so I'll probably stop like with the um, like going into the second month second month of him him being like two months so these are like to hold um formula if I need it and then they also transform like I think into like little I don't know I didn't even pay attention oh yeah so they're like little um, snacks too. So like the containers can be just of like, um, if I wanna put grapes or something in there and not formula, then they can, they're can they like able to work for that too. So I got these. Also cause like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be like 100% able to breastfeed, you know, sometimes people have problems. So just like, preparing myself just in case something goes wrong you know so I got these they're super cute and then I can try to link them in the description I don't honestly I've never done that before so I don't know but I'll try if any of you are like interested they were only like I think 10 or 11 dollars for one two three four five ten of them because there's two okay and then I got this, it's like for the baby, um, like when they get like a lot of moquitos and stuff. I had actually been wanting to get one. I know like, and I think on my baby shower, I got like the ones that like have like a little like ball and then it's like the little stick and then you like crush it. And it sucks out the boogers, but I don't really like that one. And I've always like took taking care of my nieces and nephews and like, when me and my mom like would try to take out their moncos with that it's just, like too much so she's she said that she recommended this one because she used it for her baby so I was like it won't hurt to try <coughs> the next thing I got was these two bottles because I realized for my baby shower my mom was like yeah get these type of bottles and I was like yeah okay yeah 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 and the, like, I didn't get any other bottles besides those. And the ones that I got, they're like the ones where you replace the little baggie. So it doesn't have like an actual container. So if you run out of baggies, you have literally nothing to use. Like the bottle is not, you can't use the bottle without the baggies. So like if one day I was like being a slacker and I never went to go get baggies and I run out, 
like my poor baby is gonna starve so i got these regular like that are actual bottles just in case as backup but i'll probably use both of them i think these are super cool though like i don't know they're all squishy at the, the bottom which is like super cool i've never seen bottles like this so i was like pretty like wow okay and then da -da -da -da, i got this which is probably like a tmi for some people but when you breastfeed you have to have pads for your boobs so that they don't leak and stuff so on amazon they had like bigger packages for the same price that like walmart had smaller ones for so i bought these on amazon Ugh. let me open them Oh my god, I can't open this. What the hell? Okay. So these came with like 200 for I think it was like 17 bucks or something like that. I forgot. I have to like double check. But they're like little nursing pads and stuff so it came with a bunch of them so i'd rather get them from amazon than walmart because walmart had literally i think it was like the same um same brand and everything but there were only a hundred of them and they were the same price so i was like oh no deal amazon so i went <laughs> with amazon instead so Oh, and then I also sent Eric to buy me, like, regular pads for after I have a baby, you know, they say you're going to bleed a lot. So I actually have to put those pads and some of these nursing pads in my hospital bag. But I will now show you guys what I have in my hospital bag and then what I have in the baby's little diaper bag for he's all bold. Okay guys, so you can kind of see my bag, kind of not. So I'm gonna go through everything. Some of it might be too much information for some people. So I have this bag here. This is the, this bag just has like the breast pump and stuff that, I'm, that I got from the insurance that I'm gonna be using. So it has all the little parts. My doctor did, um, tell me to bring it and so that since like it's my first kid and stuff they can help me there at the hospital making sure i set everything up and i'm using it using it correctly and stuff so i packed it in that so that all the pieces like stay together i have clothes like some spandex and stuff to put under um my clothes because I'll probably be bleeding so much. I have pajamas and then I have another little outfit here that's like warm ups and a jacket that goes with it. Let me put it back. And then I also I have diapers. So, for probably like the first or two days after, or maybe even longer, after having the baby, I just don't want to struggle with the pad because I know I've heard a lot of people tell me like, oh my god, your pad will be full in like an hour or le like less. So, a lot of people did recommend like, you should just get diapers, they're a lot easier, at least for like the first couple of days. So I did get a pack that just had like a couple and then that's why I sent Eric to also get me pads because I'm going to use them right after. I have my little slippers as well. And then I have underwear that I'm not going to show. And then I got these cool um, bras that are like nursing bras so they unsnap at the, at the top so I can just take it down. So I bought two of those. So I have them right here. 
And so I'm probably gonna be using those. I have socks. And then, da -da -da -da, my favorite part hmm, is my skims from Kim Kardashian, you know, her skims. So I did invest my money in her waist trainer. So I got a waist trainer. And then I bought one of her body like outfits. I don't know which one I, I like totally forgot at this point. But it's basically like a full body, like um what she calls them are like sculpting thingies or whatever. Basically kind of like a like a full on um faja or I don't know like what you can call it. I don't know what you would call it. Um, but yeah, so I got those two. I will be putting them on immediately. I do care a lot about my body, so I do want my body to go down. And I do plan. I do plan on like um, going to the gym as soon as I'm able to, and stuff like that. So I will be working hard for my summer body summer pecs and everything just kidding so yeah that's basically my bag last minute stuff that i have to put in there is like my toothpaste and like um my toothbrush and i don't have to bring a brush but i have to bring like my wrap and then probably colitas like for my hair but that's like last minute things, you know, here and there that I can't pack like right away because I still use it. Um, so yeah. Now for the baby's bag, his little diaper bag, I have hand sanitizer. It's very important, especially with this, what is it called? Coronavirus and everything. Okay, so I don't even know where I put stuff. Some stuff that I have to add are like his Pampers, um, wipes, and then I also got the, I just hadn't put it in. I got, it, got all this stuff from my baby shower, but it's like his lotion and then the little wash just in case I need it. So I brought those things. Let me see. I don't have anything in there. Nothing in there. Okay, I hit the jackpot. So I have little Nike socks for him with a matching bib. Okay, and then I bought him little um, beanies or hats or whatever. I got two of them. And then I also bought him, brought him a couple of packs of mittens. And then he has socks, more, because there was already those. And then I brought these cute little slippers, because I think I'm gonna take like a cute little picture of him when we're like leaving. Whoa. So yeah, they're like cute little bitty like things and they have little sheets, but they're tiny guys. Like they're for newborns. They're literally like this big. So they're really tiny. And then he has a chipon that I haven't opened. Or a pacifier, as people say. Okay. I'll shove all that like over here. And then I'll organize it later. And then I have more little slippers because my mom bought these. So she'll kill me if I don't at least bring them. And then his little outfit. So I have like little shirts. And then I have this one that says currently family favorite. I'll probably take a picture of him in this one maybe. And then I have his Nike one. Boop, 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 bam. Sponsored by Nike. I, I, just kidding guys. Um, what else? Okay, I bought him a big blanket. This is one of my favorite ones that somebody got me at my 
baby shower it's super soft super soft and then it's super beautiful from the front and it comes with like a mat um a matching little like neck pillow but you know like you can put them on the baby's head so that they don't like get flat head or whatever and then i brought a couple of um towels to like burp him or whatever or whatever so yeah i think that's it yeah that's it okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching um yeah if you guys are already moms or you already have gone through labor or you know somebody who has or you just know that i'm missing something because i'm a dummy and like i haven't packed something and you guys are like really um yeah just like message me or something and let me know anything that pops up in your guys's mind that you're like oh you might want to take this so yeah anyways okay. so if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe share my video and i'll see you guys next time bye